just about set to go now and starting in this one from Valdez. Four pitch guy he's got some options to Leading work with tonight, in terms of keeping up. hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons mm -hmm. through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes hard ground ball base now man aboard on the leadoff single He was over that one. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And yeah, there's a ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is... Simeon Rhodes, pitch outside. Go to second. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. pitch bottom of the zone and a called strike one out base is empty swing and a miss three and two now they really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball outside and that is ball four well, a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on oh. his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, ball I couldn't have no done strike. it. Adolis Garcia stands in here, takes ball one low. And the curve is down and in. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. Close, oh, but called the ball. And three now 3-0. Home and oh. well plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And ball four to a board. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right yep, there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. Evan Carter, the next to hit, takes outside. Ball and two. that misses as well. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. Runners on the move. And that one fouled off. Go ahead, run at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Late swing, foul to the left. Still two and two after the foul ball. And yep, another boy. ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Josh Young waiting for a turn at the plate. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Headed for the plate. Now it rolls down into the corner. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Safely into second. He's got a double. So two in scoring position with one out. Here's Josh Young. Golden opportunity right here. And now time is called as we'll get a visit to the mound. Two relievers just got up to throw out there in the bullpen. And fouled off. One down, runners at second and third. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though.
strikes. Huge strike out there. Big strike out right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. It didn't get his end, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on the ground to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And well, that's that outside. Ball one. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Getting the nod in this one. Go. Nathan Evaldi. What do you look for here? The second base. And it comes a hit with a five-pitch mix. So oh, for him, it's bad. always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Now the tag at second, and he's out. Time for two. Oh, the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Now it's Alex Bregman. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ripped into right center for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. You're Don Alvarez. In the box now as he leaves that one up high. At the belt and fires. That's ball down three. and in. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. One down. Jose Abreu up to hit. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced the hold on at third with one away. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Tying runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him and in the inning. Here's Kyle Tucker. Brings it in. Both runners tagging from second and third. To the play. You see. And we are tied. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Yaner Diaz up next for the Astros. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. This one belted deep left field on its way. He powers that one out of here. It's 4-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast pool. there oh oh looking to do damage I think he had his sight set on that pitch he went and got it and circled the bases here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitch new arm out of the bullpen Yeri Rodriguez pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is and now Chaz McCormick that's out to center field. 
Tavares pulls that one down and that is that but the biggest swing of the inning comes right here a three run homer it's now now the catcher for the Rangers Jonah Heim he's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport welcome back and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second Brian Abreu he has a great slider with tons of movement The pitch. And Whoa, that's outside. That and that's ball one. They're off to a great start. Three run lead after their first inning, but so important to be that's airtight defensively. Don't give away extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ball game. Hey. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. That was straight queso right there. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your left side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. One down, base is empty. It misses. It's a strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the second. Kicks and fires. Hey. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Ready to go Ready for the go. last half of the inning. Go. Stepping in, Jeremy Not Pena. Jeremy. And the pitch. Pena. That one is absolutely belted. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. And that's a leadoff double. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. So, man aboard, and stepping in is the speedy Jake Myers. And he lays down a bunt. To first, He's and safe. he beats it. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a pawn. I mean, this is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. The second baseman. Back to the top okay. of the lineup. Here's the former oh, MVP, okay. Jose Altuve. That's a base hit. Run scores. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out, he ripped into the outfield. That's one of those swings where you just don't even right feel the ball hit the barrel. But that's a poor stroke. In the air to left center. Tavares settles under it. And he makes the catch. One down. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Reached on an infield single his first time. Hit on the ground might be two. There's one. That's out. Return throw oh. to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Back here in Houston. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The pitch. And that's, that's outside. Oh. That that's misses. Now 2-0. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering is 
is in for a strike. Well, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Pulls it in for the end. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Seager at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. The Rangers down by four. We're here in the top half of inning number three. slider was way out of the zone and for me it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand not tracking into the zone and then also being a little bit anxious not confident in your two strike approach and so when a guy's in that position you get him to commit early and a lot of times you get the swing and miss as you did right there Garcia batted for the second time and that's strike one One strike away. Ball, ball one. one there. One ball, two strikes to count. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. Five one is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambu. Thanks for joining us.